Look at all these fun books. Click on the book that you want to read. The Candy Machine. This part of the book is called the Table of Contents. It lists all the stories that are in this book. The First Circus Act by Mark Towner Ladies and gentlemen, the ringmaster said, out first are the horses. But the clown came instead. <laughs> No, no, cried the ringmaster, as he tried to explain. You come out last, like the caboose on a train. I see, said the clown. I'm not first in the show. I come on last, before the crowd goes. You'll come out last. That's right. You're not first, you're last, so now go so we can get on with the first of our show. Shopping with Dollars by Mark Beckwith. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. I can buy four shoes with all of this money. Twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty. I'd like a grand hat that looks kind of sporty. Forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty. I'll buy this huge purse. It sure is nifty. Hee-hee. <laughs> Sixty-five, seventy, seventy-five, eighty. I take a large dress cause I'm a large lady. Eighty-five, ninety, ninety-five, one hundred. Now I'm a well-dressed cow, big and rotundred. <coughs> Baby Toes by Glynis Campbell Ten little babies wearing no clothes, giggling and wriggling and counting their toes. Each little baby has ten little toes, ten little piggies right under my nose. <coughs> ten, twenty, thirty. This baby's toes are dirty. Forty, fifty, sixty. This baby's very wiggly. Seventy, eighty, ninety. This baby's toes are tiny. <coughs> Ten little babies with one hundred toes. Tickle them, tickle them. Ouch! Kicked my nose. Ooh. Ooh. Sense Spent by Glennis Campbell I've got a penny, a shiny copper penny. I've got a penny. What can I buy? One cent, one cent, I can buy a gumball. One cent, one cent, now my penny's all spent. I've got a nickel, a shiny nickel nickel. I've got a nickel, what can I buy? Five cents, five cents, I can buy a sticker. Five cents, five cents, now my nickel's all spent. <laughs> I've got a dime, a shiny silver dime. I've got a dime, what can I buy? Ten cents, ten cents, I can buy a pencil. Ten cents, ten cents, now my money's all spent. Ten Little Monkeys by Glynis Campbell Ten little monkeys in a line, waiting to swing on the big fat vine. <laughs> The first little monkey is very fat. The second little monkey has a Panama hat. The third little monkey has to sneeze. The fourth little monkey is slapping his knees. 
The fifth little monkey has a great big grin. The sixth little monkey has a sharp hat pin. The seventh little monkey is counting his toes. The eighth little monkey is picking his nose. The ninth little monkey yells, Not a peep! The tenth little monkey is fast asleep. <laughs> popcorn Popping by Glynis Campbell Get the popcorn, get the pot, pour the oil, make it hot. There's no stopping popcorn popping, just a little makes a lot. Hee <laughs> hee! Popcorn popping one by one, there's enough for everyone. One, two, three, four. No, don't eat it off the floor. <laughs> Popcorn popping two by two, some for me and some for you. Two, four, six, eight. Not for doggy. Whoops, too late. <coughs> Popcorn popping three by three, more for you and more for me. Three, six, nine, twelve. Hey, don't eat it all yourself. Popcorn popping four by four. Everybody wants some more. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen. Time to lick our fingers clean. Popcorn popping five by five, hopping up like it's alive. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. That's enough now. We've had plenty. The Candy Machine by Mark Beckwith If I give you five pennies, will you give me a nickel? Mara asked Beth as she held out her brown coins. Yes, said Beth. Five pennies are the same as one nickel. But why do you need a nickel? I want to buy candy from that machine, Mara said as she made the coin trade. The machine will not take pennies. Mara thanked Beth and went to buy her candy. Beth, if I give you ten pennies, will you give me a dime? Mara asked when she came back. I need more coins to buy the candy. Sure, Beth said. Ten pennies are the same as a dime. Here you go. Mara thanked Beth, then walked to the candy machine once more. Oh, Beth, said Mara when she returned. I still need more coins for the candy machine. Can I give you twenty-five pennies for a quarter? Mara held out her hand with the twenty-five pennies and took the quarter from Beth. Beth! Mara called out as she walked back. I know, said Beth. You want to trade another five pennies for a nickel. No, said Mara. Then you want to trade two nickels for a dime said Beth. No, said Mara. Do you want a quarter for five nickels? asked Beth. Mara shook her head. Well, then you must want to trade two dimes and a nickel for a quarter, said Beth. Not at all, said Mara. I just want to know if you want to eat some of this candy. Counting Eggs by Glennis Campbell Farmer Brown is counting eggs with his country cousin. How many have the chickens laid? Hope he finds a dozen. <laughs> with the buck buck here at the break of dawn, Farmer Brown
Brown has just found one with a cheep cheep there and a cockadoodle-doo. Farmer Brown has just found two with a cluck cluck here cause the range is free. Farmer Brown has just found three. Mm-mm. With a chick chick there by the hen house door, Farmer Brown has just found four. With a buck buck here by the old beehive, Farmer Brown has just found five. With a cheap cheap there from the baby chicks, Farmer Brown has just found six. <laughs> With a cluck cluck here while the tractor's revving, Farmer Brown has just found seven. Chick chick there by the farmyard gate, Farmer Brown has just found eight. With a buck buck here by the pumpkin vine, Farmer Brown has just found nine. <laughs> With a cheep cheep there from the old gray hen, Farmer Brown has just found ten. With a cluck cluck here all the way to heaven, Farmer Brown has found eleven. Chick chick there on the highest shelf, Farmer Brown has just found twelve. <laughs> A dozen, a dozen, he's found an even dozen, but wait, what's this? Could it be an extra egg? No. With a crack crack here by the country cousin, Farmer Brown has an even dozen.